correct so answer must be three multiple first option possibility fifth no three options are left so we have to calculate come on 5 cube 125 36 square ends with because again two options which are ending with two we have to calculate mm. this square 35 square 1225 and to this we need to add 35 and then 36 total it is 1296 1296 8 cube 512 and then plus 3 512 plus 3 515 treat it like this is that okay right come on 100 1936 this is what we have so now we need to identify under root value 50 square 2500 less number this number will be in between 40 and 50 either it may be 44 square or 46 square between these two we have 45 square which is 20 25 so number should be less than 45 so it has to fourth option right 3 how many times 63 times 63 to 126 right hand side number 83 comes to left hand side and the answer is 43 next under 1296 already we calculated 36 and then 27 some 63 63 goes to right hand side what happened 169 17 square 289 plus 304 times 1200 and still you have minus 6 into 4 that is minus 24 last two digits verification 69 minus 24 answer must end with 45 how many options are ending with 45 there is only one second option final next sorry 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 numerator ends with 6 denominator ends with 4 and plus 140 will come to left hand side and it becomes minus 140 only 4 into which number ends with 6 2 cube ends with but our possibilities are 4 comma 9 this cannot be your answer 6 cube 6 cannot be the one 3 cube 7 5 cube 4th fifth option final answer i just verified last digit verification next <coughs> left hand side denominator 100 goes to right hand side and we will have into 100 am i right now left hand side numerator do you have 5 multiple do you have 5 square multiple then one 5 multiple here and 0 gets cancelled still you have how many zeros that means you have 5 multiple in right hand side so left hand side your x value must be 5 multiple only how many 5 multiples are there in options only one third option final right next so now it works only with this particular question first for these type of questions we'll add all integers and then fractions in fractions what is lcm for denominators so in your final answer your denominator is 4 when you add all these numbers also your last digit is going to be 4 only and what is your negative number number after decimal third digit 0 from 4 if you subtract 0 your answer must end with how many options are there first option final followed right next so can we treat this number as 56 by 7 because in numerator and denominator there is only one digit after decimal so 7 how many times into can I write this number as 95 by 5 how much is that 19 into let's see last digit verification 8 nines ends with 8 into 9 ends with 2 2 into 3 ends with answer is either first option or fifth option because you have into 3 answer must be 3 multiple also Fifth option is not three multiple for first option final answer. Followed. Right, next. 
so here also let's verify your denominator 5 3 39 what should be the LCM if you consider 30 9 is not divisible in 30 right so it has to be 90 so your answer must be your your denominator in answer must be either 90 or factor of 90 correct is 18 factor yes 18 5 times is 15 factor yes this cannot be the answer this cannot be the answer this cannot be the answer two options are there in both the options your integer is same four we have so there is no other way we have to calculate for sure when these numbers comes to left hand side this becomes negative and it becomes positive only 3 plus 4 7 minus 7 and then we have plus 3 so integer we have 3 is this clear so far now what is LCM 90 5 how many times 18 times 18 threes 54 3 how many times is 90 30 30 into 2 60 and when this number comes to left, left hand side we already discussed that should become negative number 30 how many times 3 times 3 into 23 so we have to subtract 60 9 and then last number 9 10 times 10 into 5 50 60 minus 9 uh, 60 minus 69 still you have to subtract 9 if 9 is subtracted from 50 you will have 41 41 plus 54 95 so that is finally we have 3 plus 95 by 90 95 by 90 91 times still how much is left in numerator 5 5 by 90 1 by 18 this is 3 plus 5 by 90 that means 5 by 90 can be written as 1 by 18 4 1 by 18 final answer wrong number series don't touch wrong number series in your exam give last priority for those questions so right so it is line graph a b c d and e because numbers are not there so i'm preparing the table a is 140 b 420 next 220 next 370 next 90 come on the number of persons in apartment h was 180 more than that in apartment a what was the number of persons in apartment h 140 plus 180 320 third option if 60 percent of persons in apartment c was female what was the number of male persons in apartment c if 60 percentage are female remaining 40 person must be male only out of 220 we have to calculate 40 percent 10 percent double double what is 10 percent double double otherwise you can verify 11 multiplication also because 220 when you calculate 10 percent that is 22 which is 11 multiple in apartment b if the number of persons in september was 2020 was 567 next by what percentage persons increased from june 2020 to september 2020 420 becomes 567 increased by 147 from 420 percentage into what is 50 percent of denominator to 10 what is 25 percent to 10 and a half 105 your numerator is how much more than 105 42 more 42 is what percent of the denominator answer 35 percent second option followed if the average number of persons in apartment ADF was 270, if average is 270 for 3 apartments, then sum is equal to 273 times only, which is equal to 810. What was the number of persons in apartment F? So it is for ADF. A and D, sum of these numbers is 510. If you subtract it, you will get F value only, 300 fourth option. 
the respective ratio of the number of total number of persons in apartment b e together b and e together which is equal to 510 and apartment p was 3 is to 5 b and e together in terms of number of parts that is three parts one part is equal to by 3 and we need to calculate apartment p number of persons in apartment p which is five parts into five three how many times 170 five times take 10 times and make it half 850 fifth option over next so for the next question the table is already there so we can directly start these questions total number of registered voters in village p is what percentage more than number of registered voters in village t p and t 42000 is what percentage more than 36800 this number is how much more than 40000 come on and this number is how much less than 40000 3200 then difference in the sense 2000 plus 3200 5200 calculated on 36800 percentage into 100 clear what is 10 percent of the denominator 3680 how much more we have to add 1520 we have to add then only sum is equal to 5200 agreed you said 10 percentage is equal to 3680 then one percentage is 368 approximately 350 at least 360 double again double approximately 1520 and 1440 so can we treat this number as more than 4 percent answer must be more than 14 percentage but close to that answer must be more than 14 percentage but close to that fifth option final is this clear in village t respect to ratio of male and female registered voters is 13 is to 10 number of registered male voters who could cast their votes is 14976 what percent of registered female voters could cast their vote if i were to answer this question in the examination hall i will skip this question because there is some number here that must be first divided into 13 is to 10 ratio then you will get total male and female you are not done with the answer out of total those who casted their vote you are given total number who casted their vote as 75 percentage so first we have to calculate how many people have casted their vote and then male people number 14,000 976 is there total who casted vote in the sense that includes both male and female from that we have to subtract 14,976 then you will get female who casted their vote still you are not done with the answer and then we have to calculate percentage so this is going to be lengthy and time taking so if I were to answer this question in the examination hall I will skip it is not that I don't know how to answer this question. I know but still it takes more time. Because of more number of steps in, involved. Hope you got the point. So now let's start and verify it. So how many parts we have total? 36,800 is divided into 23 parts. 23, once 23. 13 left and then 8. 160, uh, 138. 138 in the sense 6 times and then 2 zeros. Correct male and then female ratio 13 is to 10 13 parts 10 parts where you know one part is equal to 1600 is it easy to calculate 10 parts when you know one part value just need to add zero right so immediately i will write female as 16000 how many female are there 16000 out of total 36800 subtracting 16,000 from 36,800 becomes easy than multiplying 13 with uh, 1,600. Are they mind that? Right. So, it becomes 20,000 
800. Out of them, 14,976 have casted their vote. And according to the data, percentage of the vote, voters who casted their vote for village T mentioned as 75 percentage. Come on. 75 percent in the sense half plus half of the number. Agreed? Half in the sense what percent? 50 percent. Again half? When I add both that gives you 75 only? Half of this number. 18,400. Again half. 9,200. Then sum is equal to 27,000. Out of which 14,976 are male. Approximately treated as 1,500. Subtract 1500 from this number, 27,600. How much is left? 12,600. Clear so far. But that number, 14,976 is how much? Less than 1500, 15,000? 15, 24. Now, let's add that 24 now. So, it becomes 12,624. Now, we need to calculate 12,624 is what percent with respect to 16,000? This is what our final answer. What is 50 percent of denominator? Again half. Half plus half in the sense 75 percent only. 75 percent is equal to 8000 plus 4000. How much? 12000. Your numerator is how much more than 12000 we have? 600. What is 1 percent of denominator? Double. Double. 6. Do you really need to add 640? That means this is approximately 4% but less than 4%. Am I right? Then your answer must be very close to 79% but should be less than 79. How many options are there? Second option final. Answer must be close to 79 but less than that. What is the average number of invalid votes casted in all the given villages together? Right. So, invalid votes. You are already given invalid votes and for these numbers we have to calculate average. So, how many villages are there? So, sum of numbers divided by 5. When your denominator is 5, you cannot verify last digit. You can decide whether you get even number or odd number. That's all. Are you getting my point? So, last digit verification is not possible. Either you have to use benchmark or you need to use sum of numbers by number of numbers. Benchmark is not possible because it is possible. I don't say it is not possible, but takes time. Because four digited numbers are there and none of the numbers are round figures. So definitely it takes time. Instead of these numbers, if you have 2100, 1700, 2300, 3100 like that, then definitely you can use benchmark. Ardhamainda? Right, so it is better to use sum of numbers divided by 5. So I am leaving this question for you and for answer this first. This question is 2332, I think. I am not sure, but I hope you can do that. 64 and 65, these two questions yesterday only we have covered. Repeated question. So can I skip? Can I skip? Okay. And now let us start from question number 31. Arithmetic questions. The square of a number is greater than 22 times of the same number by 48. What is the number? See, square in the sense multiplying the same number for two times. Am I right? A num square of a number is greater than 22 times. That means your number is 22 times of the sum number plus something else is there. That's what they are saying. Am I right? Then your x value must be definitely more than 22, right? How many how many options are there which are more than 22? Only one. Third option final. Done. You got the logic? If you are, they are saying x square, square of a number is 22 times of the same number plus 48. My point is, as you have some extra number, your x value must be more than 22. It cannot be even 22 also. If you substitute 22, what will happen? 22 into 22 is equal to, you are substituting x is equal to 22. 
and still this extra value 48 is still there. Ardhamainda. So, x value must be definitely more than 22. So, answer there is only 1. If you want to solve this, x square is equal to 22 times of x plus 48. So, using this, there is a quadratic equation and you can solve the quadratic equation and get the value of x. That is one way. The other way is, for example, I am taking 23 square. Can I treat this as 22 times of the same number? 22 times of the number plus how many more times we need to write? One more time. So, how much extra number we have? According to the information, square of a number is how much more than 22 times of the number? 23 more. But how much is the number given in question? So, 23 is not the right number. So, if you write it as 24 square, I will treat this number as 22 times of 24 plus how many more times we need to take? 2 times of 24. 2 times of 24 that is equal to 48 only. Condition satisfied your number is 24. Instead of solving the linear equation, I recommend this one. Because whatever the simplification I, we are doing now, this can be done in your mind. Provided you should know the process, procedure. If you know this is the procedure, definitely you can do the simplification in your mind. Next, a 3 meter path is to be constructed along a rectangular plot on the inside. If this is what your rectangular plot, there is a path which is constructed inside the rectangle with wide as 3 meters. So, if original rectangle measurements are L and then B, inner rectangle measurements becomes, we have to subtract 3 here in left hand side, 3 here in right hand side. So, total we have to subtract 6 only, then for inner rectangle L minus 6 and then B minus 6. If you want to calculate path area, that is going to be outer rectangle area minus inner rectangle area, correct? Outer rectangle area, length into breadth minus inner rectangle area, L minus 6 into B minus 6. L into B, LB minus LB gets cancelled. Come on, minus 6L minus 6B, minus half minus that becomes plus only. So, that is 6 times of L plus B minus 6 into minus 6, 36, minus 36, come on. So, this is the area of the road. Is this clear? Path area, outer rectangle area minus inner rectangle area. And where you are given perimeter of the plot, that is 160. What do you mean by perimeter? 2 times of? But here how many times we have to calculate? 6 times. That means 2 times multiplied by how many times will give you 6 times? 3 times. So, directly take 3 times of this number, 160. 480 minus 36. How much is this? 444. Is this clear so far? This is path area, but you are not asked to calculate path area. You are asked to calculate cost. Cost per square meter is 32.5. Can we write it as 65 divided by 2? Right. 2 how many times? 222 times. I don't want to multiply everything. There is a 5 multiplier and there is an even number also here. 2 into 5 will give you 0. So, your answer must end with 0 only. How many options are there? 2 options are there. Either second or third. Now, for example, if you consider 200 times of 65, that itself is 13,000. So, 222 times of 65 will be definitely more than 13,000. With that reason, you can eliminate second option, third final answer. Got the point? 
A container contains 80 liters of milk. From this container, 16 liters of milk was taken out and replaced with water. This action was repeated once more. That is, 16 liters of new mixer of milk and water was taken out and replaced by water. What is the amount of milk in the container after the second replacement? So, how many times you are processing this liquid? Two times. Initially, we have only milk and then after replacement, they are adding water. Initially, how many liters of milk we have? 80 liters we have. How many liters are taken out? How many liters? How much quantity we have total? With respect to total quantity, the quantity which is taken out is what percentage? With respect to total quantity, the quantity that is taken out from the container is what percentage? 20% only? Every time 20% is taken out. 20% of milk is taken out, you will have 64 and then same quantity of water is added. Now what is the total component in our container? Come on, 80 liters. Second time also how many liters is taken out? Which is also 20%? When 20 percentage of the total quantity is taken out, 20 percent of milk goes out, 20 percent of water goes out. Agreed or not? Right. What is 20 percentage of milk? 10 percent and double. What is 10 percent? 6.4. Double. So, 12.8 liters of milk is taken out. Subtract 13, add 0.2 liter. When you subtract 13 from 64, you will have 51 and add 0 0.2. 51.2 liters of milk will be there, which is second option. Because your question is not about water, I am not going to consider water in a second replacement. Have you understood? Two pipes A and B can fill a tank in 28 and 30 hours respectively. If water tank is three-fifth full, what fractional part? Already it has three-fifth full. If you want to empty the tank, how much quantity should be taken out now? Listen carefully and try to answer. Already the tank is three-fifth full. If you want to empty the tank, how much quantity should be taken out? Three-fifth. If you want to fill the tank, how much quantity should be filled? Remaining two-fifth. Is this clear? So, you need to be very careful whether they are trying to fill the tank or to empty the tank. Is this clear? Right now. So, how much time will it take to completely fill the tank? So, we have to consider remaining tank capacity which is two-fifth when both the pipes are open simultaneously. For example, the tank is empty now and if two pipes are open, how much time it takes to fill the tank in the sense, can we take AB by A plus B? Come on. A value 28, B value 30. So, it is 28 into 30 divided by A plus B that is equal to 58. This is to fill the empty tank. In terms of percentage, 100 percent. In terms of fractional part, it is 1. Already 3 fifth is filled. So, remaining tank capacity, 2 fifth. So, time it takes to fill the remaining tank capacity, 2 fifth is into 2 by 5. That's all. Is it clear? Come on. So, now, I will take 2 from this number. You will have 29 here. 2 into 5, 10 and 0 gets cancelled. Denominator 29 we have. So, in your answer also you should have 29. So, first, fourth, fifth cannot be your answer. Is this clear? Your denominator must be either 29 or factor of 29. Because 29 is a prime number, either you should have 1 or 29. Now, 28 3 times 84. 84 into 2. 168 divided by 29. Your second option starts with 4. Your third option starts with 5. So, it is enough to identify one number. What is 5 times of this number? Take 10 times and make it half. 145. Your number is more than 145. 
so you'll have five and something come on third option final answer Ardhamainda, come on. The compound interest on a certain sum of money for two years at twenty percent per annum. In terms of percentage, can you tell me what is compound interest for two years at twenty percent per annum? X percent plus X percent plus X square per annum. You know that point, right? How much you get? So forty-four percentage is given as double three, double four. What is the sum? Sum in the sense hundred percent only. Right now. Instead of going for cross multiplication, etc., etc., what is here? Forty. What is here? That means three fourth only. What is three fourth of this number? Seventy five. And then last two digits. How much we have? Forty four. That means same number only. I'll use hundred. Answer seven thousand. Done. चवल तो विंटे सरपो मन विंटे अर्थम अर्थम नैक्स्ट द रीटे रीटेलर बॉट अ टीवी आफ्टर गेटिंग ए डिस्कउंट आफ सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फोर फाइव पर्सेज ऑन द मार्केट प्रईस हि सोल द टीवी टू ए कस्टमर फर् फोर्टीन थौज टू फिफ्टी अंड अर्न ए प्राफिट आफ अप्रॉक्सीमेटली ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेज आन हिज कास्ट प्रईस what was the approximate initial market price of the tv so these are new pattern questions that are been asked in recent exams so usually we have approximations in numerical ability then they introduced approximations in uh, data analysis and now they introduce the same approximations in arithmetic questions so you are not asked you are not supposed to calculate exact answer it is approximate keep that point in your mind let us treat market price as 100% how much percentage discount is offered 16.45 can i treat it as 16% approximate then he purchased the item at 84% only and now he is selling it to somebody else and when he sells the item he is getting how much profit what is 25 percentage of this number 1/4 1/4 20 if you add 21 to this number that becomes 105 is this clear what was our 100 percentage in terms of words market price what was 84 percent cost price selling price for merchant but cost price for customer am i right but customer he is now selling it to somebody else ardhamainda so what is 105 with respect to customer selling price so now it is given that he sold the tv sold in the sense selling price only that means 105 percent only if that fellow is equal to 14250 your question is to identify market price market price in the sense 100% come on if 105% is 14250 we want to calculate 100% 100 is less than 105 only yes. then our answer is less than 14250 only yes. can you tell me approximately it will be in how many thousands huh if it is in 14000 somebody said 14000 keep it a point what is 10% of 14000 Come on, five percent, fourteen thousand plus seven hundred. That gives you fourteen thousand seven hundred only. If your hundred percentage is fourteen thousand, one out five percent becomes fourteen thousand seven hundred. But where we have fourteen thousand two fifty. Now tell me, I am giving you second option. How many thousands it could be in? Come on, it must be in thirteen thousand. So how many options are there? how many options are there only one th second option final 
So it must be approximately 13,500 or 13,600. But there is only one nearest answer, hence we are going for it. The respect to ratio between speed of train x and y is 4 is to 5. Treat it as 4 parts and then 5 parts. Train x takes 10 seconds to cross train y while traveling in opposite direction. When they are moving in opposite direction, relative speed s1 plus s2, which is 9 parts. And how much time is it taking? 10 seconds. Then distance covered is 90 parts. First train length and second train length treated as x comma y. Next, while travel, next. Train x takes 12 seconds to cross an electric pole. If train crosses an electric pole, distance covered is only train length. And which train is that? x. Hence, distance covered in second case is only x. And with what speed train x is travelling? 4 parts. And how much time is it taking to cross the pole? Then, distance covered is equal to 4 parts speed into 12 seconds time. 4 into 12, 48 parts. From this, we can conclude y is equal to 42 parts. Then only x plus y becomes 90 parts. Agreed? Right. Now, what is your question? Length of train x is approximately what percentage more than y? x length is how many parts? 48. Y? How many parts more? Out of? 42 parts. With respect to 42, only 48 is 6 more. Correct? Percentage into 100. Now, what is 10% of denominator? 5%? 2.1. Four point two plus two point one. How much is that? But your numerator is less than that only. Hence, answer must be definitely less than. Me, pardon. Four point two is what? How much percent? Ten percent. Two point one is how much percent? Six point three is how much percent? Fifteen percent. But your numerator is six, which is less than six point three. Hence, answer must be definitely less than. But close to that only? Yes. yes. How many options are less than 15 but close to that? First option final. Is it clear? Next. A started a business and uh, after 4 months from the start of the business B joined. Okay. The total investment made by A and B together was 38,000. B's investment was 8,000 more than A's investment. That means sum is equal to 38,000 and difference is equal to 8,000. Correct? Out of A and B, who is getting more? Who is getting more? Then if you want to calculate B's share, how do you get B's share? Sum divided by 2 only? When you have A plus B and A minus B, how do you get A value? Sum of these two numbers will give you 2A and half of that. Correct? So now, the same I am using. 38,000 plus 8,000, 46,000, half of that, 23,000. Sum of A and B is equal to 38,000. Out of 38, 23 is already there. Then A value is 15. A started the business, so he will be there for 12 months. B joined after 4 months, so he will be there for only 8 months. 4, 2 times, 4, 3 times. No more simplifications, 45 parts. And 46 parts. Now, B's share of annual profit was approximately 11,500. That means 46 parts is equal to 11,500 only. Now, what is your question about? Total annual profit earned. That's what we are supposed to calculate. Am I right? Now, it's a simple and common sense. If 46 parts is something, 45 parts will be definitely less than that and very close to that. Am I right? So, approximately if you treat it as 11,000. I don't know whether it is 11,000 or 11,100 or 10,900 or 10,800. But very close to 11,000 you will have. Am I right? Then sum that is total profit is approximately 22,500 only. Plus or minus 100 or 200 but answer should be near to that. Am I right? How many options are there? Only one. Fifth option final. It's a simple common sense. Over. Next. A boat can travel 
18 kilometers downstream in 64 minutes. So, downstream speed is equal to distance covered by time taken in minutes. Minutes converts to hours by 60. Denominator in denominator comes to numerator only. Which speed is this? Downstream speed. That means m plus s. Okay. Where the water current, that means stream speed is equal to 6 kilometers. From this, if I want to calculate, both a speed is equal to a speed is equal to. You know that this is boat speed and stream speed. So, from this we have to subtract stream speed only. How much is that? 6. Keep it aside, don't calculate. We will do that later. Continue. If boat B can travel 13 kilometers upstream in 72 minutes, then upstream speed is equal to 13 kilometers distance covered, time taken 72 minutes converts to hours by 60. Again, denominator in denominator comes to numerator. Which speed is this? Upstream speed in the sense m minus s only. That means b minus s only. If minus s comes to left, right hand side, then b speed is equal to plus stream speed value. Correct. Now, for the second case, you are given separately stream speed. Speed of the water current 4 km per hour. So, that means you need to add 4. So, we are getting both A speed, both B speed. Do not calculate. Come to the question. Approximate. What is approximate difference between speed of A and speed of B in still water? That means difference between these two numbers. That is what we are supposed to calculate. Correct? Right. Chalo. 4, 16 times. 4, 15 times. And then 9 times and then 8 times. 9 into 15, 135 by 8, 135 by 8 minus 6, cancellation with 8, 8 ones, 55 we have, 7 times minus 6, 9, is this clear so far, 12, 6 times, 12, 5 times, 13 into 5, 65 by 6. Approximately can we treat it as 66 by 6? Which is equal to 11 plus 4. How much is this? 15. So, your numerator. A value is 11, right? 17 minus 6. That is equal to 11. And your question is to identify difference between these two numbers. Come on. 4, option 4. Is it done? The average age of Ravi's family 5 years ago comprising 7 members was 54. 2 years ago a girl child was born. What will be the approximate average age of Ravi's family 4 years hence? Consider no other changes took place in terms of members. Okay, right. So, how many members are there in Ravi's family? 7 members. Your given average was 54. When was the average 54? 5 years back. Am I right? So, every year for all these 7 members, every year their age increases by 1 year only? Even in your family also, for you, your sibling, mother, father, whoever it is there, every year their age increases by only 1 year. So, if every person number age is increased by 1, Average also should increase by 1 only. So, 5 years back if it was 54, then at present average must be plus 5 only. 5 years back to present. But your question is to identify their average after. After. So, present average is 54 plus 5. After 4 years, that will be again plus 4 only. This is equal to. 63 years. Am I right? But 63 is average age of the Ravi's family comprising of how many members? 7 members average is 63. If I want to calculate their total, that means I need to multiply this with 7 only. 63 into 7 will give you a number and that is sum of ages of 7 members in the family. But in between something happened here. 
which is there in the third line two years ago a girl child was born so now how many people are there in ravi's family eight members so now i would like to calculate some of eight members ages already we have some of ages of seven members so to this we need to add girl child age am i right when was she born then present what is her age two years after four years six years then if you calculate this will you get some of ages of eight members in ravi's family but now we have to calculate average so this number should be divided by eight only yes 16 into 7 4 3 into 7 come on 21 plus 6 20 so that means 4 4 7 divided by 8 this is 5 times and then 6 times approximate Sanchi should be approximate to 56 This 63 into 7 is sum of ages of 7 members. And then girl child age separately we will add. Is it clear? Done everybody? Chalo. I hope all questions are over.